So hi, Micro Hunter here. Well, what I've got here, this is not a microscope, but this is a centrifuge, which I ordered. This was actually one of the cheapest uh, centrifuges that I could get. It's an electrical centrifuge. Manual centrifuges were significantly more expensive. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpack it now and then I'm gonna show you uh, what you can do with that. Well, obviously um, it's there to concentrate uh, water microorganisms so it's easier for them to be observed under the microscope. But let's have a look first. The centrifuge uh, arrived after not even a week in this uh, box here. Um, I ordered it uh, over eBay. Here, this is the instruction manual in English, but as you're gonna see in pretty bad English, <laughs> that's the centrifuge itself. Uh, it's not quite as small as I expected, uh, but it was not very heavy either. Uh, the power supply cord is uh, correct for 220 volts. Yeah, and that's basically how it looks like. And there are these uh, plastic tubes in there, 20 milliliters. Yeah, so this is um, how it looks uh, from the front, made in China. Uh, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get it that cheaply. Um, here, there, I think this is the speed dial that you can uh, use to select the speed, and here the, it's the time. And there are uh, six uh, tubes here. Uh, there were six tubes he in here. Um, <laughs> they are uh, they're made of plastic, uh, yeah. And uh, I think uh, I might uh, get maybe glass ones as well, um, because here it's a little bit difficult to see the pellet because the plastic is, is, is not completely clear, but I think that's not so much of an issue. So let's have a look at the instructions uh, right now, um, and uh, maybe they can help you here a little bit. The size or shape of different density of particles in the different speed centrifugal occasion settlement. So a general is not homogeneous mixture ball can use the method of centrifugal or isolated. Centrifuge is not for into a research biochemistry, separate a lot of material. For example, collect cells. Separation plasma, from these purification in preparations of separation DNA and proteins, and can be isolated the virus and massive Escherichia coli. Strict cell components the ribonucleoprotein complex particle, etc. Fun to read, uh, but uh, luckily I know how to use a centrifuge and I'll give it a test now. So uh, now it's uh, set uh, for 20 minutes. You can see it here um, on the line. Okay, so it's gonna actually run down um, until zero and when I switch it on, uh, you, it's uh, gonna start running, yeah? Um, and uh, if uh, basically if I want to res reset this here to zero, then uh, all I have to do is I just have to turn it back. And then it's also off and then it will also not work uh, anymore here, okay? If I want to start it again, yeah, I just turn it up again. I can switch it off here and or I can switch it off here as well. Um, I'm just gonna show you, I've got here a kitchen timer um, and it works in a very similar way. What you have to do is you have to turn it and wind it up and then you have to turn it back uh, to, to set the time and then it will actually run back um, as well. Um, and the same uh, system is also used uh, for the centrifuge. You have to wind it up and then you have to adjust it. And at the beginning it did not work, uh, I found out, uh, because uh, I think uh, there were factory settings. So you have to wind it up the, up the first time properly and then it, it, then it works. Um, and basically uh, it's uh, it's okay. Yeah, well, I decided to have a look um, inside. Uh, so I removed uh, the screws. The outside uh, cover is all made of uh, plastic, uh, but uh, it looks uh, still reasonably solid. So this is basically Hi. how it looks like. Um, and I had to also remove a few more screws uh, on the bottom side um, of the centrifuge. The bottom was, of course, uh, made of metal. It was uh, fairly solid. There are also some suction knobs, uh, suction legs on there to make sure that it's uh, solidly standing on a table. I lifted out uh, the rotor, that's the motor, and uh, also the cover. And uh, yeah, there was not a lot of electronics in there. Uh, the two control knobs, speed controller and the timer are here. Yeah, and uh, this is now the timer in action. It's uh, basically, it's a uh, clockwork. There's an escapement here as well. And, and uh, there's also a relay that uh, switches uh, the electricity on and off. 
Yeah, and uh, the whole motor is mounted on those rubber legs uh, to make sure that um, it's kind of a little bit more vibration free. Yeah, I'm now making uh, honey, a honey water uh, mixture because I want to test the centrifuge and I want to um, get the pollen out of the honey. Um, and uh, so this is uh, the reason why I'm diluting it, uh, the pollen. I've got her and not the pollen, the honey. Um, I have to make sure that the counterweight is uh, pretty much the same as the honey water solution. And then I'm going to centrifuge this. And then uh, if we're very lucky, um, I'm able to um, find some pollen in, in the honey. So yeah, so that's basically the sample tube and also the counterweight. Uh, everything goes uh, in here. I removed the other tubes because they're not needed. And yeah, let's let's give it a try. I was spinning the whole thing for, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. Yeah, and then um, this is called the pellet. Okay, so there was indeed something that collected there, so I had to carefully remove the supernatant. Uh, did this using pipette, pipette uh, to not disturb the pellet too much. Um, yeah, and then I did this a second time. I again added uh, the honey water solution. I made a little mess here. <laughs> and yeah, there was a vacuum actually somehow. Uh, so the lid was actually uh, sucked down and was not so easy to remove. Now the pellet of course is uh, significantly larger than it was before. So I removed again the supernatant uh, and then I resuspended the pellet in the last drop of water. So there's a, still a small drop of water there. So I tapped the tube and uh, resuspended the pellet. It's still here a little bit. So I continued doing this uh, for a few more times. Um, and then, yeah, the pellet was resuspended. So all of the pollen and whatever was in the honey um, is now in the liquid. And I basically then made a slide, a microscope slide. I simply poured it out, uh, cover glass uh, goes um, on top and uh, we are ready to observe the whole thing under the microscope. Yeah. So let's have a look. And yeah, plenty of pollen and other things, those large round structures, these are the pollen. But there was lots of other stuff as well that I found in here. Um, so it was able to, to concentrate the pollen, I was quite happy about that. I mean, that's almost something I expected to happen anyway, uh, but uh, it is, uh, yeah, successful. And here there are a couple of pollen grains, those large uh, round structures here. Now, the next step would be to identify the pollen and to find out from which uh, plants they are. That's a, a whole new separate area that I'm not going to get involved right now. But there are a whole bunch of other things floating around. Could could they be bacteria? Could be, okay. Um, but. Uh, in any case, uh, the first test immediately worked uh, without any problems. So you can see that centrifugation is indeed a thing that uh, allows you to easily concentrate uh, suspended particles, pollen, bacteria, uh, maybe also some ciliates and other water organisms that you find, algae, single-celled algae maybe. Yeah, so there, there are quite a lot of possibilities here and um, in the next couple of weeks and months I'm going to uh, yeah, try out a few more of these things and see what I can find to expand a little bit the possibilities uh, of uh, the samples that you can observe under the microscope. Yeah, so okay, I think uh, that's uh, gonna be enough uh, for today. Um, do check out the description below. Um, there are a couple of interesting links uh, that I have. Uh, Please uh, consider also subscribing to the channel and uh, also maybe you can support the channel and also my fundraiser. Um, all of the information is uh, below in the description. In any case, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.